Here's how Access Ally can help you teach better. Access Ally can help you design the structure of your membership content and courses through the Access Ally Course Creation Wizard. You'll use this step-by-step -step wizard whether you're creating a simple course or protected and dripped content of any type. First, there's the standalone model, which has a single permission tag that unlocks the entire course content immediately. Or, you can choose a stage released option, also known as dripped content, which is broken down into sections called modules. Each module has its own permission tag, so it's really flexible and lets you do things like drip out your course lessons sequentially over time as a progress-based release or simply offer a fast-track option upsell. Again, even though it's called a course wizard, you can create any kind of membership site content in here, whether or not it's in a course format. Let's go through the stage release course and I'll show you how easy it is to set up. First, we have our course identity area. Here, we'll choose a name for the course, add the icons, and designate the sales page for the course. Whatever course name and icons you choose will show up like this on the dashboard page. If someone has access to the content, they'll see it as a full color icon. If they don't have access, it will be grayed out, and if they try to click on it, they'll be redirected to whatever sales page you configured inside the settings area. This is a great natural upsell and cross-sell opportunity for you inside your membership site. You can use any image for your icons. They can be circles, squares, or any other style. Next, Access Ally will create all of the permission tags that you'll use to control who can access your content. These tags are automatically created directly inside your marketing automation platform thanks to Access Ally's two-way street integration. Each tag has a special purpose, so you'll want to become familiar with the different types. For example, the base tag only gives someone access to the main course page. The instant access tag gives them access to all of the course content at once, whether or not you have multiple modules created. The revoke tag negates all access, and so on. In the module area, you can set up the different sections of your course. While on the previous page we saw the global permission tags, here we see that each module has its own unique permission tag. So let's say, for example, that we have three modules in our course. We can release each module separately, turning it into a three-week course. Now it's time to add in the course content. Each module is an empty house without this content, so we can create new posts or pages, use an existing page if we already created our content, or simply duplicate an existing page. I'm going to go ahead and create a new page and call it Lesson 1. You can add as many pages as you want to a module and even upload protected content files like PDFs or special images that are hosted on your website or Amazon S3 account. The great thing about adding protected content to your modules is that they automatically inherit the same permission tags as the module. So only people with module 1 permission tags, for example, can view this PDF. From here, you can easily drag and drop modules and lessons to rearrange the order of the content if you add or remove material over time. All my content has been added to each module, so I'm going to finish up and review the automation guide. You'll see that we have a CRM automation setup guide to walk you through each step of the process to fully automate your free or paid content. Each step in the guide is specific to your email marketing platform, but you can also watch our video tutorials in the knowledge base to create custom automations. When everything's ready to go, you can add your course to the dashboard. It's easy to do with just a few clicks of the button. To keep your membership subscribers and online course students engaged, Access Ally Pro offers a full learning management system Quizzes, checklists, progress tracking, homework and private notes, video bookmarks, and more. If you're using Access Ally Pro, you can create and add quizzes to your course pages and membership site onboarding. There are three types of quizzes. A graded quiz, where there's a pass-fail threshold based on how many answers the user gets right. For example, anyone who gets 75% of the answers correct passes successfully. 
anything less than a 75% receives a fail. You can make them retake the quiz before moving on to the next module if you'd like. Then there's the scoring quiz, where you can assign a different score to each answer. The final outcome is based on the sum of all the scores. This is useful to rank people into beginner, intermediate, or advanced, and show them different levels of content, for example. Finally, there's the personality quiz, where you can assign a specific outcome to a user based on how they responded to each question. It's a great quiz type to use to segment people and recommend different content too. For all of these quiz types, you can use videos and images in the prompts or answers, tag users based on how they performed in the quizzes, and even use them as an opt-in tool to help you build your email list. Access Ally Pro comes with a built-in progress tracking feature that allows you to create progress bars and pie charts and track the user's journey through your online courses. On its own, the dynamic checklist can be incredibly helpful for your students. It allows them to see at a glance what they need to do to complete the course material. But you can also add visual aids like pie charts and progress bars to really motivate your students to complete each lesson with enthusiasm. All progress tracking in Access Ally Pro is based on these objective checklists. On every post or page in your site, you'll find the settings to build a checklist. So let's click on the Add Objective button. The settings are pretty straightforward. In this text input area, type out the directions for that objective. Here we'll say, download the Lesson 1 workbook. And on the left here, we can change the objective type. There's regular text, our three video bookmark objectives that we'll cover more in depth in a moment, a quiz, which would be marked complete automatically when the user submits all answers and passes the quiz. The page post type lets you track objectives across multiple pages. So let's say this is lesson two. We can add a page post objective that says, complete all objectives from lesson one, and then select the lesson one page from the dropdown. This objective would only be marked complete when all the objectives on the designated page have been completed. Finally, there's the note objective that tracks whether the user has submitted their notes or homework for this page. So I'll create a couple of objectives and we can add the checklist to the page with a short code adder and see how it looks on the front end. Here we have the text objective type, which we can mark complete with a click of a button. And I also added a video bookmark objective. Let's talk about that for a minute. In the back end, we can add any video to a page using the short code adder. This is a YouTube video, so I'll select that option, though you can also choose a video that's hosted on Vimeo, Wistia, or your Amazon AWS account. Grab the code from the video's URL and add it along with the designated number. This is useful if you want to add multiple videos to a page. With the video added, we can scroll down to the objectives and create our video objective, add the designated number, as well as a timestamp. I'm going to add two objectives for the same video with different timestamps. Now on the front end, here's what happens. When someone clicks on that objective, they'll be taken to the exact spot in the video that you specified with your timestamp. The great part about this is that you can break up those long course videos into smaller, bite-sized pieces for your students and make it easy for them to come back and review the parts they want to watch a second time. It also helps you track whether or not the student has actually watched all the materials, which might be an important metric for you if you're running certification programs. If you want to include a homework component in your courses, Access Ally Pro's Private Notes feature is what you'll use. You can choose from different types of private notes, those that act as fully private journal entries for each student, to Q&A threads between the student and site owner, and even homework submissions that require approval by the site owner before the student can move onward in the course. No matter how you're using private notes, you can enable file uploads, which is really helpful if you want students to share images or PDFs privately. In all note types, except for the individual private note, you'll get a notification letting you know that an entry has been submitted. Then, you'll head into the admin area to view the notes and perform any follow-up actions, like answering questions, approving homework submissions, or even requesting a homework resubmission from one of your students. Private notes are HTML friendly, so you can share links or even embed videos. 
The content is only ever seen by the individual student, so this is a great way to facilitate private coaching and follow up with clients. Once you hit reply, the student will see your answer on the front end of the page like this. To reward students for completing courses and submitting homework, you can set up a PDF certificate that will automatically be customized for each individual. Here's what that looks like. This is a sample certificate of completion that comes with Access Ally Pro, but you can use any blank PDF design you choose. The certificate can be auto-filled with a person's name, the name of the course, and the teacher's name, along with the date that they completed the course. Designing the look and feel is really easy with this drag and drop interface. You decide what you want the certificate to look like. We also give you some templates to start with to make setup quick and easy. When it's ready, recipients can just click download and it will be pre-filled with all of their details.